I think it's a good to have a common language uh, when we think about what we mean and how we uh, think about them. So uh, this is a true example of definition on what we mean. Uh, this is a user. I just want to think. Uh, 
concept of replacing a, a room, when you replace a room, it will automatically be a linear process, which will uh, decrease the center of the next chain, it's something like a linear process. Uh, and uh, when you get an expression that has a state binding chain that I told you for, it will also decrease the chain you can. And the reason that this is possible is the whole chain will only be there as you go Only one of these two things can be done. You can both add root to uh, binding and you can also uh, remove them from outside. Fortunately, what happens is now you have a reference counter from minus one because you have to one. Um, this function doesn't do anything. There is no automatic execution or something in this case. But what the attacker does in this case is only for another expression that references this chain. And then when it increases it, you add NFT to NFT because it's there for those two things to use. And when NFT will say, oh, you said you're using this, and you don't think nobody's using it, so I can pull it. Uh, so now there's an expression that points to the thing that is here. And uh, what the reference is from the group that from the school group, this chain, after it takes it. And this is what we can see. So the question now from the group perspective is can they do this with property, property function, and then you can do the kernel. Uh, this is a very high level view of a high level separation uh, of an expert running. You can uh, have a different record with a square, which you cannot see in the screen, but with a square, which is what you have on the left, uh, or you can actually do the same thing on the other two sides. Um, this is by uh, Kuhant. Uh, Profiling and uh, the same the other than the exploit. So, uh, to start with the exploit, the first thing that the exploit has to do is to make a payment. Um, this is necessary because the process has to do with your capabilities, and if you have capabilities, you can access and do your thing. So, first step get your name, get your name, for, get Kernel admin. Uh, the second thing you do is that you do the free. So, free is essentially the vulnerability where you have a immediate expression that nobody is contained that. Um, you can see this in the profile. It essentially gets a first case of the Where the history works, uh, you know, very high level, is that when you do something, it gives back to the locator, and it will only return and remove memory for something that is more or less intact. I think you can see the stability in somewhat what you can see too, uh, more or less. And uh, if you do something that is 192 uh, bytes, it will only be used. Um, from that to be in that um, You can see in this case means that, uh, for example, here you see that you have a chain name, you can see that, and when it, you can usually see, you can find it in the memory, so that the range is not used, um, and then you have to uh, replace it with something that you want. 
So we do something called praying. Uh, praying or opening or whatever it is for an object many times. So you just call two uh, different people profile that is do the same code like that. And uh, it essentially just for malloc and then uh, allocates the same thing of the right side many, many times. In this case, it's something called a It doesn't really matter what it does, it just matters that remember that it's still a reference to the chain or the chain name uh, from outside. And this chain name is giving you a Then you do something where you use this object as a proxy. And uh, you can see how more or less it happens. But what matters here is that there is some function by using the chain name from the index that are referencing it when a transaction now has an index. So now uh, the, the proxy is actually reading a structure that contains an expression when it thinks that it's doing a chain name. And of course, if it has a move in the middle, we um, then does the same thing a couple of times, uh, which doesn't really matter for this purpose, but it simply wants to get code execution, some amount of code um, And that is done by calling uh, a function point. Calling a function point. This is a summary of what happens, which is calls a function called an execute plane, which eventually calls a, a eva function plane. Um, you can follow the structure in the slides if you're interested, but what matters here is now we have a function pointer in chain, which remember we did, uh, that's pointing to another object that contains a function pointer in the pointer. So if you're able to control uh, the object in this case, you're able to make the function pointer point to another object. And then once you have a uh, once you can make a function that is formulate different function calls, then you can have a um, one of the usual problems is that uh, you have to allocate on the same on the right slab, on the slab of the same size. And there are certain things like that and that make it complicated. So what uh you usually do is that you don't think in the context of object slabs, they think so. Uh, ultimately, if you have a very complex context allocator, and uh, when a kernel doesn't do a function anymore, it's pretty much the thing, it goes back to the context allocator, then it will come as well as when, uh, when the kernel is not present in the system. So, in the object, that will be a bigger problem. And the way that they do that, they want to object, they want to take care of the object, they want to make sure that they don't need that anymore, free, and then it asks you to do some more, and then you now have a support free. And item bar one, and so um, we analyzed some of the exploits that we did in 2022. We created a code book. You can read it online. You can go to physical places if you want. Uh, and then we also analyzed them and analyzed them and tried to see what we could do to try to make uh, something that makes sense. However, <laughs> this was completely horrible. And um, the way that the uh, government wants to understand it is to be used in the of the so I also to make some much more sense of that, so we need to address all aspects of the plot. Um, and the specific topic is to address the issue of the architecture, and we go from classic with the bug type to with this kind of model mapping um, technique, what you can do with the concept of the plot, and then something like that. So we're thinking, what can we do to mitigate the crash and do it in the same process? Um, to unwind something, but also to then update the uh, which is what we're talking about here, the current trying to update. Um, the thing is quite helpful is that we never really need to have all of this between the two steps. And so what we want is, uh, imagine here, for uh, one, we want to make a then it gives this and it's So, if you uh, with the 
Um, you can kind of and you know if this is again, same thing. around 
knowing that we can get into the and
overhead at all. the money you can donate. 
Uh, and then once it lands, it will work for the first four and it will put that and uh, the kernel. And yeah, another example, it will also work for the second time. Um, both of these are meant to take uh, of this, and we're happy to work on everything the activity and the maintenance one with the interface. Um, so, as a quick summary of everything that we talked about so far, we have lots of vulnerabilities in the kernel. A lot of them are rather um, One thing that we have is that uh, we have a lot of uh, in our GIF repository. Um, there is one for example, we have a single evening that of the program. Um, and we want to make it harder than GIF exports, but the mitigations are not perfect, uh, it's just true, and they are also very expensive. So we're trying to find what we want to do. Meaningful mitigations and work. Um, so, we need quite a bit from security reports. Uh, and as well as development and new ideas on how to uh, make it work and how hopefully the information that is public and the information that are provided is quite enough information, but why it is not an effective work in the And yeah, uh, sorry about the 148 words. Uh, we still have time for questions if you want. We should have. I don't know what it is. Oh, there it is. Again, and also we are promoting people to, you know, come up with tools so that we get the kernel more secure in the future. However, I would like to ask your opinion about the current, like, kernel letters in the uh, policy in February. You know, right now it like, became unmanageable and there are, you know, 100 TVs per month are public. There is a birth of a feather on uh, tomorrow at uh, I forgot what time to call this. Uh, it's a big thing. Uh, I mean, um, generally speaking, I think uh, this one, yeah. Um, it is more than 100 because there's also the backlog. Uh, and the, so that's quite a lot. And um, I think. At a high level, like it, it is understandable that if no one is doing the analysis, like it's very hard to do what I used to describe at the beginning of the presentation, where you have the feature, and then from the feature you go to the vulnerability. This is very hard to do. Like the, it, it takes a lot of time and effort, and nobody, nobody, nobody can do that. Like maybe the maintainers could try, but I don't know if they. Want to do that. But it's very hard. So it's understandable that you want to err on the side of caution and try to uh, do something little, but. It, the fact that it's hard is true. So it, that while the situation that we had before uh, was easier to cope with because there were less cities, the situation we have now is probably closer to reality than what we had before. So I think we also Thank you. 
Oh well, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the that's the idea. Like what we, that's what we want to do with the, the like we want. I think you can look at it as uh, makes exploit easier and harder at the same time. So make exploit are easier because there is less work for the developers. Um, but uh, if you still have that virtual, then it is useless because then you can do this custom. Uh, uh, but with that virtual, it is it, it makes certain exploits a lot less reliable. But uh, attackers will be used to reliable networks because they want to, uh, they don't want to trust your phone, they want to be using it. So uh, it's, it is useful to make an exploit that the user can do. Then you need uh, one or ten times to do the work, or one or sixty times or whatever. It will be distinct for you for, uh, because it, it removes the, it's not like a problem for the user. The idea is precisely that whenever there is uh, a mitigation that we have, uh, they, 
we, the, the, the person proposing it should be able to tell you how to fix it and what the problem is with the data. And uh, this game, the capacity of mitigation game, that we have is a way to measure that. Because we can show that, okay, uh, well, if it's still a square, if it's if it's better, but it's not. Uh, because of course, it doesn't give the reason. Uh, so, I mean, 